with the upcoming 1.6 update for Stardew Valley releasing on the 19th of March, we know that we are getting a brand new farm type. And ever since I saw this announcement last year, I have been scratching my head trying to think what this new farm could actually be. I have come up with so many different kind of ideas and I've also seen many suggestions from the community as well, such as a desert farm, a tropical rainforest, a winter snow farm and even a giant 8 player layout to go alongside the brand new 8 player multiplayer feature coming to 1.6. But after some deep thinking, none of these actually made any sense to me and they don't fit the theme of what I have been seeing from the screenshots and the 1.6 sneak peeks. So I decided to do some research and piece everything together from every single bit of information that we've had so far and I think I have finally solved the puzzle and got the answer that I've been searching for. Guys, I think the new farm layout coming to 1.6 is going to be a swamp slash wetland. Now let me explain why I think this and let me show you what I have pieced together to get this outcome. Now I have briefly spoke about this on the last video I did as well. That is where my initial theory of a swamp farm came but I want to dive deeper into this and I did and that is why I want to share this with you guys. But let's go back last year let's start with the first ever screenshot that we got regarding the 1.6 update. This is where it all began. Now the first thing that I want to point out and start with and it's the main part of my theory are the brand new trees here. So in the bottom left of this screenshot randomly out of nowhere we have got a new type of tree. Now there's a reason this is getting shown. We've never seen a tree like this in Stardew Valley. As you can tell it looks very very tall. This is just the top half of it. We can't even see the trunk. And straight away on this tree I saw some moss and some kind of vines. Now just this tree alone to me screams some kind of swamp or wetland. Where else would you find a tree like this? Maybe in a, a rainforest? Because that is another fear that I have. It is between the swamp and a, a, a tropical jungle slash rainforest or whatever. But we'll, we'll get to that later on. But let's, I'm sticking with the swamp. So I did kind of do some research on trees that grow in swamps. Just to get an idea of what kind of trees do grow in that kind of wetland environment and the one that I was seeing the most was some kind of cypress tree that has Spanish moss dangling from it. They seem to live in swamps in like Louisiana and coastal areas in the United States but these cypress trees are often adorned with carpets of Spanish moss and you can see them kind of dangling from the top of the trees and this is what the image looks like to me. The trees look very bendy and quite long but also we'll move on to a similar thing and that is a new bush here that we've got. Again it kind of screams out to me like a swamp kind of biome. This could be a number of things. This could be a brand new forageable bush that you can harvest things from or is this some kind of giant weed that could spawn on the farm on this brand new farm type that could easily take over your farm because if you think about it if we do have a swamp the soil could be constantly wet and that could be one of the benefits of this farm. The soil can be either constantly wet where you never have to water or use a sprinkler or maybe if you want to dial it down and not make it OP. Maybe there's a chance that the soil stays watered overnight just like the retaining soil or maybe you get a lot more rain on this farm type to help with the watering. But one of the negatives that this could bring is the lack of space because there could be lots of water, puddles, you know, little pockets of ponds, logs, rocks, trees and of course weeds and this could be a brand new weed type. The little weeds that we get, if you don't get rid of them in time, they could grow. This could be a giant form of a weed that could take over your farm. And if you remember as well, Concerned Ape did leak out that we are now getting Iridium Scythes. At the moment we only go up to gold with the scythe and now we can get the Iridium but why? Why would we have an Iridium Scythe guys? What purpose does this have? Maybe you can only get rid of these giant weeds here with the Iridium Scythe. You have to upgrade your tool in order to take these down. That is my theory. I've pieced it together and I'm going with it. Let me know what you think to that. Now also if we do have some kind of swamp or wetland biome there could be lots of things to forage very similar to the forest farm layout that we have. It is the only farm we have in the game that you can get forage from such as mushrooms, the horseradish and things like that. And of course another leak that we got we can now put forage items into the kegs to make juice. You can now put horseradish into the keg. It gives you some juice. Could we do this with all other forageables? 
If so, maybe there's going to be some brand new ones on this farm layout. We get different types of mushrooms, different kind of forageables that can be turned into wine. Now, one of those forageables that I want to talk about is this thing here. I initially thought this was some kind of egg, but I don't think it is. I've done some research. There's no egg like this other than a quail egg, but it kind of looks nothing like it. And as you can see from this image, there's three together. This is one of the hardest things I've been trying to piece together. What is this item? And whatever it is, it seems quite popular because we've seen it quite a few times. In the recent screenshot where we got the announcement of the release date for 1.6, in the little banner, you can see some more of these things. Now this could be two things in my opinion. It could either be fruit, some kind of berries, or nuts. If these are some kind of fruit, let's dive into what they possibly could be. I think this could possibly be a berry called Longan. I'm kind of going with that tropical wetland marshy swamp theme, and this is the only thing I could find that looks like this. So Longan is a tropical tree species that produces edible fruit. You can see the resemblance a little bit, although longer and a little bit more rounder than what I'm seeing here. But you can kind of see the pattern. They look quite similar. Longan are often known as the dragon eye because it resembles an eyeball when it's fruity shelled. It is one of the better known tropical members of the soap berry family, to which the lychee and rambutan also belong. And like its sister fruit lychee, it thrives in humid areas or places with high rainfall, which also goes along with my theme of a wetland farm. And this can also grow on most types of soil. And bear in mind, this is a tree and the longan tree may grow over 100 feet in height, which if we see on the image, it looks very tall. The trunk is 2.5 feet thick with corky bark and the branches are also long thick and they typically droop. Again, the tree fits the theme. But apart from being eaten raw like other fruits, longan fruit is also often used in Asian soups, snacks, desserts and sweet and sour foods, either fresh or dried and sometimes preserved and canned in syrup. And once fermented, it can also be made into longan wine which is perfect for Stardew Valley. But I think this would be more suited for a tropical farm rather than a swamp one. So let's move on to the other theory. Once I ruled out eggs, I thought these could be nuts. If so, I believe they could be something called tiger nuts. The real name is on the screen right here. But tiger nuts can be found wild as a weed or as a crop. They are commonly called earth almonds or tiger nuts due to the stripes on their tubers and their hard shell. Now in Japan, it is an exotic clonal weed favorable to establish in wet habitats. Again, fits the theme of a swamp. They are used primarily as animal feed or as a side dish, but in Hispanic countries, they are used mainly to make horchata, which is a sweet milk-like beverage. It can also be consumed raw, roasted, dried, baked, or made into oil. But here in the UK, guys, where I live, tiger nuts are soaked, boiled, and then used as a bait for carp, which is a species of fish. So this got me thinking about fish. Now let's face it, it's almost guaranteed that we're gonna get some kind of fish in 1.6. Every update we've had so far, we at least get three new fish. So I feel like we're gonna continue with that theme. So if I'm going with the swamp, the wetland theme, we need some kind of fish that fits that. And also these tiger nuts, which is used as a bait to catch carp. If my theory is correct, maybe we'll get a brand new carp to the game. And maybe this carp produces these tiger nuts if you place them in the fish pond. Or they could be used as a bait, which is the only way to catch this kind of fish. And maybe this new fish machine that we saw on the screenshot could all link that together. Because this seems like some kind of fish production machine. I don't know if it can make bait. Not sure what this is going to do but it could link with my theory here this means that the carp that i have in mind or fish needs to be giant it also needs to be rare special hard to catch so let's think some more what carp commonly lives in the wetland biomes flooded forests or swamps it is giant rare and it kind of fits the witchy aesthetics of a swamp farm well, I did some more research and I found a fish called the Siamese giant carp. These fish are very, very big, fitting with a swamp, in my opinion, with their black scaly appearance and huge gaping mouths. This could be a great addition to the game. I dived into that way too deep. I spent a lot of time researching that kind of stuff, but I want to kind of go on what I've just mentioned, the witchy aesthetics. It's very popular right now. You see it in a lot of other games, that whimsical fantasy kind of theme and the witchy vibes. We've not really got that in Stardew Valley. Other than the wizard's tower, you don't really see the witch that's mentioned or you see her briefly. And some of these items on this screenshot kind of give me the witchy aesthetic vibes, such as this purple drink here, some kind of herbal tea or fruit tea, 
we also have a purple warp totem. Is this going to take us straight to the wizard's tower? Is it going to take us to the witch's swamp? But also, we've got this quiver. It looks like some kind of quiver with arrows. I'm not sure what it is. But again, it's giving me that witchy vibes. Which, all of that fits the swamp theme that I'm going with. Right, another thing that we see a lot of, and I need to mention, are frogs. We have saw this on two screenshots so far. The first one, which we've just been over here, we've got three frogs, yellow, black, and blue. Different colours, I don't think we've seen any of those in the game right now. I know you do see a few green ones every now and then that jump into the water, or you might see them in a bush or something. But there's even a black one here, which looks like a void frog. And the void chicken literally is just jet black with a red eye. Very similar to this frog here that we see. Now, if this is the case, this makes it feel like maybe we could breed frogs. We can get some kind of building or frog hutch, similar to the slime building, that maybe we can get loads of frogs in there, hatch them from eggs, breed them, you can maybe sell their eggs or something like that. They could be a new farm animal, which is again, perfect for the swamp theme. Why else would he be showing us frogs? What's the reason for it? It doesn't make any sense unless it has to have a purpose. But lastly guys, I want to talk about the new screenshot that we've recently got announced in the, the 1.6 release date, and that is the raccoon. The raccoon is throwing everybody off. Why have we seen this raccoon? Is it a new farm animal? Is it a new pet? Are we going to be able to pet it like that cat and dog and have it roaming around our farm? Or can we put it in a, a barn or a coop and have multiple of them? Get baby raccoons that can forage for items? Or is it going to be a pest? Maybe this raccoon on the swamp farm or the wetlands will eat your crops in the ground and they're going to be a nuisance. Well, there's a lot of speculation, but let me talk about what I think the raccoon is going to be. So I spoke about this in the last video I did, but raccoons are actually known to live in wetlands and swamps. It is their favorite habitat. They like to live in hardwood trees. They like to forage in water. It makes perfect sense for the theme that I'm going with to have a raccoon. Now, I don't think it's going to be a pet, sadly. For you guys who want the raccoons to be pets, we do have cats and dogs. I I can't imagine us having a raccoon as an extra pet, but a farm animal is definitely seeable and doable. Maybe you could buy them from Robin or somebody else, you can place them in your barns. And I think because they are good foragers, just like the pigs, if you let them outside, they find truffles, maybe raccoons can find you lots of different things. This could be a good shout, and I think is more reasonable than pets. But again, there is a reason why he's showing us the raccoon there. I can't just see it being a wildlife animal that you might bump into when you're roaming around the valley, because that's just a nice visual addition. It's not changing or bringing anything crazy to the game. So the raccoon has definitely got to have a purpose, just like the frogs. This has been baffling me. I've been thinking so hard, doing so much research of what the farm type could be, what the raccoon's for, all of these items we've seen. I'm trying to think, what are they? I'm very curious to see how far away I am when the 1.6 releases. Maybe I'll do a separate video and we'll kind of go back to this one we're doing, my predictions, and see how many things I got correct or how far away I was. That'll be an interesting one. But this is what I think. In a summary, is we are going to get a wetland slash swamp farm where the benefit is going to be some kind of wet soil that keeps our crops wet either constantly or just a more chance for the soil to stay wet and retained overnight or maybe even more rain. I believe the raccoon could be a farm animal. We're going to get some new fish that are themed around the kind of wetland tropical swamp feel. Let me know what you guys think down below. Are you with me on Team Swamp? If so, are you happy with that? Do you guys actually want to see a swamp? Because in my opinion, I actually want that. So I am Team Swamp and I hope that is the case. There might be a few people who aren't excited about that as well. They think it might be challenging because the uh, the obstacles, maybe it's going to be difficult to place buildings on, etc. I even saw some people say if it is a swamp, maybe you can't place buildings at all because of the wet, soggy soil. That would be so challenging. I feel like buildings are a huge part of Stardew Valley and they are kind of needed, so we'll see how that goes. If you enjoyed this kind of weird video where I'm diving into all of this content that we've got with no answers, trying to find answers and creating theories, of uh, what I think it's going to be. Yeah, let me know if you like it. Just a little bit different. With all the hype around 1.6, it's kind of got me thinking. And yeah, I just wanted to talk to you guys and share my opinion of what I think this new farm is going to be and kind of what I want it to be as well. Everything I spoke about, I wish was true. I would love that. Subscribe if you haven't. Stick around for the brand new 1.6 content very, very soon. So excited, guys. But until then, stay safe and stay cozy.